What is up everybody? My name is JR, aka the Sunstreak Camaro. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're doing awesome. We're finally going to get to do the thing that so many of you have asked for. And I've got the car cleaned up for you guys and everything. But today, we are going to be taking a look at the Sinister Camaro. Every little detail, everything you need to know about it, everything we've done to it. So let's bring her out and let's get it started. All right guys, so before we actually bring it out, I just want to put a disclaimer on this video. I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna say that they don't like the stuff I've done. There are going to be some people that, that enjoy some of it and don't like the other part of it. And there are going to be other people that just overly enjoy it just like I do. Let's just keep in mind that when it comes to car building, you have your own style. You have your own setup that you have to do. But for me, this is what I enjoy. This is what I like. Just comment down. Just to let you know. People have different likes. That's why we have different cars and we're not all gray blobs that like the same things that you do. So keep that in mind and let's get rolling. Here she is, basically the Sinister Camaro in Arva Glory. I'm going to basically start off with the exterior mods that we did on her. Then we're going to look at the wheels tire setup. We're going to look at the engine setup, the trunk setup, and then the interior setup. This might be a little bit of a long video because we've done a lot to this car. But since I've had this car in this kind of look for so long, for about two or three years now, with everything that we've done to it, I want to go ahead and bring you guys up to speed because I did not have a YouTube channel back then. So we're still gonna do some more stuff to this car. Don't worry, it's in the works. We just gotta get that money for it. But for now, this is the way it sits. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. All right, so let's get started with the front end. As you can see here, the first thing we notice is carbon fiber VIS racing hood I got from Mob Motorsports. Also wanna put in the disclaimer in the description below that don't forget to check the description. I'm gonna leave some promo codes down there so it can save you money on your car parts and such like that. So be on the lookout for that in the description. Mob Motorsports is so awesome and they have the best prices on the internet. So that's where I got it. I saved a ton of money. So you guys should definitely check them out too. But it's got the vents and then it's got the removable inserts for the vents so that you can even uh, air out even more. You can color these if you want it to. You can wrap this hood. You can leave it bare. I left it carbon fiber because who doesn't like some good carbon fiber? I mean, look at that weave. Look at that weave. It's just nice. So the front end, we pretty much kept the same look, but changed out some of the things on it. So as you'll notice here with the headlights, those are OEM headlights, but we've got the etching in the middle of the light itself and two ring lights. We've also got a demon eye in there that you can't see, but it's there. Uh, fog lights, OEM again, we changed out to the bright white uh, LED down here as well. And we've got a ring of LEDs there. We've also colored these to be gloss black instead of that nasty, ashy gray look to it. I didn't like the way it was looking, so we changed that out. Uh, the grill is the Heritage grill. We changed that out from the stock one that was just a bunch of plastic and actually had this painted black here. The rest is actually plastic, but very, very unique look. I like it. Bow tie. This is a wrap to match the rest of the wrap, and then we colored it black instead of chrome because I hate chrome. You'll notice that there's no chrome left on this car because I do not like chrome at all. And then to finish it off, we've got the Stillen uh, setup here. Now I do have plans to boost this car, so intercooler going down here. I wanted a little more airflow here, so we'll cut out that plastic in here in the front fender. But it's a good direct line to suck in some air to the, to the intercooler to make sure everything works properly. Um, on the side, we've got the Oracle side markers. They are painted on the around the edges, and we did not do anything with the LED uh, portion of it, but it's super bright. I love it. Uh, the rest of the wrap. Now, this is the eye catcher right here. Uh, this pretty much, we have the blood splatter on the front. We've got a little bit of smoky, hazy area here with some blood splatter. And if you look closely right here, you can see a skull's imprinted on it there. 
the name Sinister is there and nice little evil letters. The quarter panel's got its own skull look, kind of like the uh, the Hellcats have. And we've also added this as a separate piece to make sure that everybody knows the YouTube channel. And we've also put graphics on the back window. It's perforated so you can see through it. But it's got all of our major channels on there. And then another skull for the back trunk. All of this is wrapped, it's not painted. Much cheaper and easier to do. So that's what we went with. And then we also added graphics to match the wrap to the front that says the Sinister Camaro. And you'll notice the same thing on our truck as well. On the front banner, it's just got a different style to go with its color scheme. Now looking at the back, let's start with more carbon fiber. This is the Anvil Auto carbon fiber wing. I will say that it's definitely a must have piece, but it's very expensive and it takes a long time to make and send to your house. So keep that in mind, but very awesome. It's like one of the best spoilers that I've seen personally so far. We've also colored the bow tie with the wrap and the black instead of the chrome here. And then the lights, uh, I'd actually installed these myself, but this is just basically a big worm graphics tent. Um, the darkest I could go over top of the brake light and then we had these bezels painted black So again get rid of that chrome uh, Down here. We've got the reverse lights. They are smoked out, but they're LEDs. So they're super bright And then we've also put some bright white LEDs up in the license plate there as well Come along to the bottom. You won't really notice this very much, but I noticed it so this rear diffuser was that nasty ashy gray it kept fading and I had to keep putting stuff on it to liven it up but it never did so I ended up just go ahead and painting it so it's nice gloss black to match the rest of it we didn't wrap or anything because I mean nobody really gonna see it but I know it's there and then we also have our tips aftermarket tips are painted black gloss black to match the rest of it I like the look of it I didn't I felt like the chrome steel look of it kind of poked out too much so we went ahead and covered that up with some nice paint it's been on there for a couple years so a lot of people are like worried about it burning off because the exhaust fumes and everything coming out of here which some of it has but it still has that nice black look so if you're looking to do that um, i would highly recommend it just because it's something that makes the appearance of the car a whole lot better all right so that is basically the gist of the exterior of the car so let's see about those wheel and tire setups all right so here's my back wheel uh basically it's an offset staggered look so we've got 22 by 10s in the front and then 22 by 11s in the back just to keep that stance because that's the way the stock tires had as well but we went a little bit skinnier tires of course to fit the 22s so we didn't have to modify the body at all so we got the eibach uh, springs we basically dropped it about an inch and 1.4 inches so that it would have a nice little stance to it as you can see it's very close to the fender but it's not close enough to where we hit bumps and it's going to be grinding up the inside of the fender so when i got this wheel and tire package i will say that the everything that you see that's orange like the ring around the wheel itself and then these little spokes right here that are painted orange that was actually brushed metal uh, it was black with brushed metal on it and then all the rivets back here that you might be able to see i can't see on camera but we have rivets way back here that are also painted orange those are actually chrome and then our center cap here was chrome and then it had the, the uh, Lexani symbol here. So we changed that out, painted all of it. We painted it to match the wrap. It came out a little bit more orange than we had hoped, but it still came out all right. I still rock it today. And then we just added this nice little piece of graphic here as an added touch, added bonus. As a little stealth feature, the spokes here are true spike lug nuts. Uh, they actually just twist off. So they're not gonna have, you're not gonna need like a super deep socket for these. But uh, it gives it a more aggressive look to it. I enjoyed it. I think it went with the theme. So that's why I put them on there. We have them on the truck as well. Just for the fun of it. But um, I really enjoy these. I don't know if I want to change up the tips or not. To basically be the same color as this or not. I kind of like the stealth look to them. But I still want people to be able to notice them. Um, at shows and stuff like that. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm hoping that the camera picks this up but as you can see here on the brakes we had it painted to match 
They are the stock Brembo brakes that came on the car, but we added the text that you see here, the custom text on it. And we also have the uh, Hawk brake pads, the ceramic brake pads, so that the wheels do not get dirty as quick as they did before. Because if you know anything about Chevy and their, their brakes, they relieve a lot of brake dust. And with black wheels, it's a problem. So we did ceramic brake pads and it seems to work just fine. This is a car that we drive a lot. So don't expect all the things to be perfect, but I enjoy it. It looks good to me. Then as you can see back here, you'll see later in the video, but we've added double row LEDs to the wheels as well to match the lights on the front of the car and in the hood, under the hood and all that. But it's a pretty nice wheel setup. Again, the 22 by 11s in the back and then 22 by 10s in the front. And let me see, because people will probably ask me. We got 20, 265, 35 R22s in the front. And then in the back, we've got 295 30 R22s. All right, so just to start off the trunk setup, just something simple. This used to be like bright yellow, glow in the dark. Uh, I didn't quite like that because I mean, we've got this sealed off anyway, so nobody's gonna be trapped in the trunk, I hope. But basically we got this painted by River City Creations. They did an awesome job. It's the only thing I've had them do, but it looks amazing. It's got the SS on it so that people know, of course, when they open it up. We removed the badge, the SS, out here. So nobody knows what this is until you start it up. Um, we've also done hydro dipping on the interior pieces to match. So we've got them on the arm supports over here and over here. But then we also have our subwoofer box, which you'll see lit up uh, on the night version of this video. But we've got the hydro graphics here um, all of the clear that you see around the box is going to light up red. Uh, these are JL Audio W7 Anniversary Edition. They are 10 inch subwoofers. We, I wanted to go 12, but with the size that these things were, uh, the size of the box that these things required, we went with the 10s instead. I'm pretty happy about the sound that it puts out, so I'm not. I just need to do something else with this trunk. I'm not too sure what I want to do with it, but maybe like a TV or something like that. Put it in here or put a TV up here. I'm not sure yet. But we haven't gotten to that point. Still working around with Car and Security and Wake Forest to see what we can do with that. But they, the guys at Car and Security are awesome. They actually installed all this for me. Love those guys down there. Make sure you check them out. All right, so now we move on to the part that everybody wants to see that everybody likes about this car, and that's the motor. So right off the bat, we're gonna go over the things that you can plainly see. Uh, we've got the cold air intake, the K&N cold air intake. It's got an open box. Uh, I'm not too, uh, much of a fan on it. I wish I would've went with a closed box. So just keep in mind that when you do a cold air intake setup, the horsepower really doesn't matter when you're sitting there at low 600 horsepower range. Uh, it's usually when you get the boost and get really up in there with the horsepower that they actually matter. So whatever you, want to choose for that on your car you're more than welcome to it but this is the first thing they came out because when i started modding it it wasn't really much out there for it next you can plainly see we hydro dipped the fuse box cover here we have removed the nasty yellow dipstick and we've actually modified it to the nice black billet and then we've also hydro dipped with the word sinister on the engine cover and then painted everything else black and at the night shot, you are gonna see that we have lights in here in the slits. This is the slits I was talking about uh, when I first started the video. But as you can see, they're like screws falling out of it. So at some point I'm gonna have to replace those, but I don't know, they keep falling out. I keep doing my best to keep them in, but they still hang up there. So I'm just rocking it for now. But we have lights up in the hood. We've got lights around the motor as well, but you'll see that a little bit later. Now, as far as the engine work that we've done to this car, it's pretty extensive. I mean, you're, you're basically gonna, you're gonna spend a lot of money doing this, but the sound of it is just pure, just joy. Every time I start this thing up, people always ask me what I've got in it. Um, I always play with people and tell them, you know, it's stock. Some people believe me, some people laugh at me, but it's just a good conversation starter. But the engine set that we have on here, it's still the stock block, it's still the stock motor. But what we've done is basically modified the heads we put a boost cam in there because we plan on putting boost on there sometime in the near future. But basically we, we replaced the ignition wires, we replaced the uh, stall converter 
and this uh, bad boy. So basically for everybody that wants to know, this car puts out about 450 horsepower to the rear wheels, not brochure to the crank, but actually to the rear wheels. We do plan on putting boost on there, so I'm losing a little bit of horsepower from that because we have a boost cam in it right now. It's a custom grind boost cam. We've done the top end of the, like, the lifter spring and rods. We've upgraded those as well. Exhaust is Cook's Long Tube Headers, High Flow Cats, the 1 7 8 inch version of it. And then we've also got the Boiler Attack Cat Back system because I wanted a little something exotic, something that not many other people have. So I'm really enjoying that setup. We might change it up down the road, but for now, that's that's pretty much what it is. It's a fun car. I love driving it. It just does. It doesn't just sit in the garage. We actually drive it to shows. We drive it to the grocery store. Just driving around town, all over the place. So this is definitely a car that gets driven. So the mods that we've done have been awesome for the drive. It still works pretty much. Uses the same amount of gas that it normally would. People seem to think that once you do the cam, uh, you lose a lot of gas mileage. That's not the case. You only lose gas mileage when you mess with the fuel system. So we haven't gotten to that point yet. When we get boost, we hope to get there. But for now, it's the same amount of gas, no problems whatsoever. And I will also say that this car has had one issue with the motor so far, only one. That's the stall converter went out after we did the cam install, a year after we had it installed. We had it for a few years now. But um, I've had, other than that, we've had no other issues and it's been working great, it's been working fine. So if you're scared about doing it, just trust me, the drivability is still there. If you don't like drone, uh, don't upgrade the exhaust part of it, just go ahead and do full boost and you'd be set. But for me, I just wanted something obnoxiously loud, obnoxiously just stupid to go with everything else that we did. So I went all out. I don't care about drone or anything. I just put down my windows and crank up the music and I'm good to go. All right, and let's start with the most obvious conversion that we did. Now, I just wanted to stand out at car shows. And, of course, these doors work just like normal doors, but you can also throw them up, too. We'll get into more depth with that in a later video. But I just wanted to show you that, yes, we do have the vertical doors installed on this car. And they've been working great. Have them for over five years now. Just needs to rewrap some wiring, and we'll be good. We've got a Batman logo, which you'll see at the night version. Uh, we've got installed kick plates with the hydrographics and the sinister on it and we've installed the hydrographics in the door as well everything else on the door trim is stock pretty much we haven't touched that uh, we've custom made headrests uh, might get these changed out might get the seats changed out but we at least changed the headrest so it won't be that dingy gray ss logo there anymore uh, we've also done the hydrographic with the paint across the dash fuel cluster or gauge clusters steering wheel as you can see the other side when it's closed we've also done the shifter gauges we've added an aftermarket alpine dash kit this comes uh, with the touch screen in the bottom of it and it gets rid of those knobs that you're used to seeing now we put a pioneer in this you don't have to do that that's actually made for alpines but we i like the, the pioneer sound better so we went with the pioneer 8400 bh i believe it's called but I enjoy it. They're both touch screens. They're a whole lot easier. You just, they, anything you put here is probably pretty much going to overlap your gauges, but we, uh, we don't deal with that too much. And we put a little microphone for the, uh, the call as well, since we had to reroute that. Uh, the doors, even though it says Boston acoustics, it, we took those out and we replaced them with JL audio, uh, C3 speakers all the way around in the interior. It, it screams. It's awesome. I love it. And I would definitely do it to another car. I'm definitely putting JL in the next car. That's for sure. And then back here, you'll see the amp rack set up. This is on the back of our box, our JL audio, um, a JL audio box. But basically, we used uh, one, one amp that's for the interior speakers. And the other amp is going to be for the subwoofers in the very back that you saw already. It has a red light that lights up around it. You'll see it the nighttime version of this video. But I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. We may end up changing stuff out in this back end. We've got a little girl coming, so we've got a little uh, seat we've got to put back here for her. But we've also been looking at doing a uh, seat belt kind of conversion back there for a four-point harness and some different seats. So look for that in an upcoming video. And sorry, I forgot to mention that so many people ask me this, but what's the inspiration for the wrap? So the wrap itself is a little bit of me thrown into it with, with a little bit of basically the theme that we went for for this car so you'll see skulls it's evil blood splatters all that stuff this is a custom one-off so nobody else has this wrap 
but we also threw in some digital digitalization is what I want to say into it because like again I'm a tech guy this is a tech channel as well so I love tech stuff but we basically threw that in there to make it even more custom for myself so what is up everybody uh, this is the nightlife as far as this car is concerned now I'm gonna tell you right now that not many people are going to have the same opinion of what I've done to this at um, that I have but it's my car I created it I drive it I love it but uh, this is what we did to it for the nightlife hope you guys enjoy it it's definitely something that you won't see every day but I love it I enjoy it and I hope you guys do too all right so here we go I know it's it's a light show it's a party but as you can see we've got one we got lights in the upper grill lower grill we have one ring in the bottom and then we have two rings on the top, but we've also got an etched skull in the middle. We've also got Demon Eye behind that, which changes colors like these lights, but with it being so bright, you can't really see it unless you're right up on it. Perfectly fine. For the under hood, we just basically just wrapped all the lights around it. And that's pretty much it. And then as you can see in the hood, we've got slits that we can take out we can actually remove these slits right here so we remove those and then put a strip inside as well so you can get the full effect while you're driving at night as well uh, here's the Oracle side markers they're not smoked out but they are painted black around them but they're super bright and they've lasted pretty much since I've had the car just like one of the first mods I ever did and I enjoy it very much uh, as you can see, the wheels are the same lights as well. They're the Dream Chaser series. And there is two rings instead of the usual one that you see uh, on these cars. Just to give it that added effect. Super, super bright. Here's a view of the back of the car with the running lights on. I did the white LEDs back here as well. I've also got a nice little cord running behind it here just so the car will not run dead it shows we've got a little external trickle charger uh, sitting inside the car but this is a speaker setup with the two JL W7 tens as you can see close up here these are hydrographic skulls very easy to keep clean a lot of clear on top of it and then we've got the panel that has red lights on it and then one little red light for the trunk light, of course, before I did all this. Now, normally there would be a spare tire down here, but that's my trickle charger battery. Piece of styrofoam with my tire pump, which I don't use, but down here, you, you can see the ground. I'm trying my to do that, and it's good to roll. You can still see through the tent or the graphics on the back, so it's not illegal at all. At least I hope not. All right, so when you open up this door here, you got a Batman logo. I'm a big Batman fan, so of course I had to have something like that. There we go. That's what it looks like at night with the doors up. So the floorboard, we have LED glows. I think we have eight. Yeah, eight bars. So two here, two here, and then of course the same thing on, on the driver's side as well. But that's eight total. Uh, lights inside that light up we've also got this cool red cup holder and then we've got the touch screens both of these are touch screens which I love about it a little bit of custom I want to kind of switch it out with an iPad at some point but for now this will do and here's the other side of the setup this is the back seat it's folded down but we've got two JL audio amps with red lights surrounding them and hydro graphics on the front of them as well. This little extra custom added touch for car shows. And then we have our red light dome light. Just to make sure it's extra evil in here. So yeah, that's about it for the nightlife version of it or series of it. But something different, something definitely different to look at going down the street. So Hope you guys enjoy it. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I've got to show you for now. Again, we'll be adding more stuff to it. 
uh, we might be bringing other cars to the fleet in the next upcoming years. It just all the plan. It all depends on how this channel goes and what you guys want to see. So thank you guys for joining me. If there's any questions that you have, please leave any comments in the link below. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends so that we can grow our community here on this channel because I want to make it bigger, better for you guys and have more stuff to do. And don't forget to subscribe as well if you do like these kind of videos or want to see more videos coming up in the future. That's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much. And sorry for the wind noise if it's in the video at all. But always remember, never forget to stay sinister. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.